A local mother adopts a boy in Ukraine, but to get him home, she has to brave the terror that has become downtown Kiev. I could still leave, but I would have to leave my son. And there's no way that I'm going to leave my son. Wow. Well, days of fire and death in Kiev will not stop Tracy Snyder from giving her new son a new life right here in the tri-state. She hopes a new agreement there will hold so she can bring him home to Lebanon to join their family. You've seen the flames, the violence, the angry protesters in Kiev. Two hours away from Kiev, Tracy Snyder is in Kanev, waiting to adopt 15-year-old Vitali. I talked with her by Skype. How much longer will you be there? I was hoping to be able to come home by about the 15th of March, but it totally depends on the situation in Ukraine right now. Tracy and her family are no strangers to the adoption process. She and her husband, Butch, have three biological children and three adopted from Korea. When Vitali visited last summer on an exchange program, they all fell in love. Until yesterday, Tracy was able to move about freely and spend time with Vitali. Until yesterday. While I was at the orphanage with my son, they said, you need to pack your things up and you need to go back to your hotel right now. Tracy can only wonder how events in Kiev will affect the adoption. Before she leaves the country with Vitali, she has to go to the U.S. Embassy in Kiev. Is he concerned? Does he understand what's going on? Is he scared? At the court building, he knew something was going on and he overheard them talking about revolution coming here. And he looked at me and he goes, Mom, we pray. And he grabbed my and we just prayed right there in the middle of the court stuff. Those prayers give Tracy comfort, and she hopes they comfort her family at home, too. I miss you guys so much, and I think about you all the time, and I can't wait to be back home again. And we hope that happens soon. Right now, there is a potential turning point in Ukraine. Today, opposition leaders signed an agreement with President Yanukovych. The president agreed to give back some powers and bring the opposition into the government. But the deal stops short of the protesters' main demand, his resignation and departure. The Ukrainian capital of Kiev has been rocked by violence for days as clashes between police and protesters left more than 100 people dead and hundreds more wounded.